Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor here at, at Wyzant answering a question submitted by a student. This is from calculus and the student is probably studying a topic called related rates. So we'll get started here. This was this was one of the main reasons uh, calculus was invented was to deal with related rates problems. And it was studied extensively back in the day. OK, so everything's set up. OK, so let's get going with this. So we're talking about uh, the volume of a cylinder. And we'll start with uh, the equation V equals pi r squared h. And this cylinder is changing shape because it's spinning around on a clay, on a clay, uh, I, don't know, I don't know what they call it. Uh, anyway, it's turning around on a surface that's used to uh, mold clay. And um, as it changes shape, the volume doesn't change. There's a, there's a certain amount of clay there, and there's only so much you can do with it. So while the uh, height is increasing, the radius is decreasing. All right, so let's start by taking the derivative with respect to time. So you're going to get dv dt on the left is equal to pi r squared dh dt. So it's the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. So the second one is going to be 2 pi r h, oh, 2 pi Yeah, 2 pi r h d r d t. Because the derivative of r squared is 2r. That's where the 2r is coming from. And I just put it here. You know, we need the h also. So it's the derivative of this, which is 2 pi r times dr dt times h. OK. So this is actually 0. The volume's not changing. And now we're just going to plug in values here based on what the problem is giving us. So we're told that the radius is 3. So this is going to be 3 squared. And we're told that the uh, height, the height is increasing by 0.9 centimeters per second. So that's dh dt, 0.9 here, plus 2 pi. We're told that the radius is. Uh, three times the height. I'll put the height in here. So it's 55. And we're trying to solve for dr dt, the rate at which the radius is changing when all this other stuff is going on. And that's it. So. OK, so now it's just algebra. We're going to start by canceling out the pi's. I'm going to divide both sides by pi and get rid of those. And I'm going to bring this over. So this is going to become uh, 9 times 0.9. Let's do that. 9 times 0.9 is 8.1. 
So we'll bring that over, negative 8.1. Now we have 2 times 3 times 55. 2 times 3 times 55 gives me 330. dr dt. And we'll divide both sides by 330. I'm going to get 0 0.0245, and the units here is centimeters. I'm going to just make some space. Centimeters per second. And it's negative because the, we're told, and we're told, but we would expect it to be negative because the volume is constant. The, uh, the radius, size of the radius is decreasing <clears throat> by a certain rate because the height is increasing by 0.9 centimeters per second. So the radius has to be decreasing in order to maintain a constant volume. So that's what this is. Um, it's uh, it's not that hard. It's a word problem. Word problems are always a little annoying, um, but it's in a chapter. It should be in a chapter or in a unit called related rates. And this, although this is not a big part of um, of calculus all overall, it turns out historically it was very important. It was one of the main motivators for calculus to be invented in the first place. So it's good to uh, pay homage, homage to this, uh, to this uh, topic. OK, that's it for this one. I hope this uh, was useful to you. And I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.